Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at Canva.com and all of the things that you can do on Canva in a relatively short amount of time. I wanna be realistic with you. There is no reason to not have Twitch panels and, and YouTube intros and outros because Canva.com makes it so easy to get this done. Uh, my goal is to create four pieces for Twitch and YouTube in about 30 or so minutes using templates and just kind of get a initial brand started for your Twitch or your YouTube. So we'll get going with that right away here. I'm going to be working quick, but I'm not going to be working too fast in which uh, the viewer will not be able to understand what is going on. So my goal is to work quick. However, I want to explain in depth as much as possible. So there will be a nice balance of speed and detail here. Uh, but let's get started right away. This is the home page of Canva.com. And uh, initially, there's a, there's a ton of going on. But first thing I want you to look at is your brand kit right on the left here. Okay. And first thing I want you to do is just get some colors down for your brand kit. Now you're going to see this emblem a lot today. This is Canva Pro. I personally do not have Canva Pro because I have Adobe software, but Canva is a wonderful tool to get your channel off of the ground, whether you're a gaming channel or any sort of content creating channel. Uh, it's a wonderful tool to get you going here. So I'm just going to select these three colors. I don't know why I would ever use all three of these bright and vibrant colors for my brand, but hey, I'm going to today. So uh, but looking at the other thing that you can do is you can add people to your team and then people can all work on designs together. So if you are a small team of two or three and you're wanting to add them into your team, you can do so and they can be working on the same things or have access to the same things on your your Canva as you have on theirs. So that's another wonderful tool here. So let's go back to home and you could create a design right from scratch and do the custom size and do all the search for you. But the beauty of Canva is they have templates for everything. So if I was to type in Twitch, Twitch, <laughs> And look at all the things that they have. They already have the banners, the emotes, the overlays, the panels and everything for you right here is set up and ready to go. So we're going to create a couple of things today within a rather short amount of time. Um, and my goal is to get done with some panels. I'm going to show you the templates, but I'm going to create one, uh, a Twitch offline page or a picture. I'm going to use a template for that one. Uh, YouTube intro, we're going to go over a templates, rebranding, uh, add some images to it and add some animations and animations and audio and then we're going to get uh, a youtube outro going here as well so uh, i'm going to keep that over here for my notes and then we're going to keep going here uh, first things first here i'm going to turn on a little bit of uh ambient music here so that my brain can continue to work and let's get started twitch panel okay now knowing that there are these free panels you could right now just click one of these if you have nothing and have something for free Right. That's the beauty of canvas. I could download all of these right here right now for free if I wanted to. OK, there is also something that you're going to see that says paid. So if I wanted these right here and it said paid, I can click download and go to pay and download and I can pay one dollar for all of these. That's the price that they have on canvas set for all of these Twitch panels. I could also download this with uh, you can see with Canva Pro. So if I have Canva Pro, I can download that as well. OK, um, and lastly, you will see the pro version of things in which there is no pay to download. You have to have the pro version of Canva in order to download that. So uh, I, my goal was to create one from scratch and just show you some of the graphics design work that you can do on Canva. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to go over to the left and you're seeing all of these things templates that we were talking about elements are the things that you can use to design uh, photos as well um, uploads you can upload your own photos right and then you're seeing colors color schemes and brand schemes and all that so a lot of good on the left side here and then the fact that you don't have to come with an idea they can kind of like guide you or steer you with an idea with all the things that they have on the left over here okay if you want more you can add other things like charts or, or app integrations if you were trying to get very in depth but for the most part here i'm going to start from scratch so i'm going to go to elements and i'm going to get going here with creating some simple shapes for our which panel 
Hey, I have my zoom right here if I want to zoom out so I can get a better feel for what I'm working with. And I'm going to take this a little bit sap there. I'm going to bring it down all the way and then I'm going to extend it all the way. And this is going to be black. I want this to be black. I did do one of these previously just to kind of get my brain wrapped around Canva because Canva is very difficult in the sense that there is no pencil tools. There is no anything along the lines of that. And so you really have to understand how to design with Canva. Noticing that my brand colors, I thought my brand colors would show up there, but apparently my brand colors uh, shifted a little bit, which Maybe I didn't click save or something. So I'm going to use these as my brand colors. Just know that these are where my, your brand colors are supposed to show up. OK, um, I'm going to now I put two types of shapes here to create this kind of panel look. And I'm going to use now some lines and element to add kind of like a border to this. And this is going to be my way of like doing something that Photoshop can do pretty easily. It's not as easy with Canva, but that's OK. That's OK. There are pros and cons to every software. Photoshop doesn't come with a ton of templates. Canva does. Right. So if you don't have Photoshop and you don't have access to some of the, the powerful tools on there, just know that you're getting pros elsewhere as well. And I use person personally, I use all different types of softwares for the pros, not the cons, right? So I use personally a blend of Photoshop and GIMP and Canva, depending on what I need, right? So there is no reason to say, because I have Photoshop, I can use Photoshop for everything. And there's no reason to say, uh, because I have Canva, there's no reason I shouldn't have like GIMP or something else like that. So just being aware of all the pros and cons of the software you're using is extremely important. Trying to work quick here because we have a time goals. I don't want this video to be too long here. I'm actually going to start copying and paste and control C, control V. I'm going to grab this point and I'm just going to kind of stick it on the edge there. Stick this one down here. Okay, uh, control V. Let's copy and paste another one. I'm going to stick that one right there. I could zoom in and get more accurate, but as of right now, we'll zoom in here in just a little bit and control V one more time. And I'm going to drag this guy down to the bottom right. And I'm going to drag this guy to here. That line weight seems weird. Maybe it's because it needs to be down one. I don't know. Anyways, and definitely tell that's looking funky. But uh, for the sake of the video, we'll keep going. OK, uh, we will shape things up here in just a second. Run one more here and I'm going to run it from the top because I want to show this shape in my panel. So I'm going to create one more line right there. All right, let's zoom in and get detail oriented here. So this is all the way out. I'm going to shift this to the left one. Um, it's looking, I actually shift it back to the right. Uh, mm -hmm. OK. For what we're trying to accomplish here today, I'm going to say that that's good. OK. Now, if it was my own, I would get a little bit more uh, clean with it. But for the sake of the video, let's go with uh, not that that's not clean enough. Let's go with something like that for the sake of the video. OK. Now, looking at our panel here, you can see kind of the initial shape of it. Now, what I can do is I can go into the photos, depending on what I want, and I can maybe type in gaming. You got all these options, right? And remembering pro, pro, pro. So I found some by typing in different searches here that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this controller right here, which was free, and I'm going to get this controller on the main part of our, I'm going to send it backward. I'm going to send it backward. Too far back. And I'm going to now get this to be the background of. Our panel. Pull this down a little bit. I think I can make this bigger. Pulling it down there. I want this controller to be nice and big. I'm going to still stretch this out here. And 
actually I want there's a re nice reflection on this controller here. It's kind of cool right there, right? Um, but I don't want um, maybe I want something different over here. So I'm going to uh, leave it something like this. OK, and then maybe I want a text over there. So I'm going to add a heading. I'm going to stretch this heading out a little bit going over to the text uh, thing over there and just clicked heading. I'm going to type in, maybe you could type in about me, maybe I'm typing in trigger, maybe I'm typing whatever else. And okay. we'll get it nice and centered here. And maybe I want to add some effects to that. There's animate, there's effects. You can really centralize it here. I personally always click and, dra click and drag with centralize, but you can position it to be uh, middle center however if i think if i was to click uh center it would actually center it on the entire image right and so that's why i just kind of like to drag things around and make sure that they're centered there we go it doesn't look centered but it's telling me it's centered trust okay let's keep going effects i'm gonna go to effects i'm maybe gonna add a glitch to this and i'm going to make the glitch a little bit bigger and I'm going to make it uh, maybe top and bottom or something along the lines of that where the purple is on the top. Eh, I don't know that I like that. Maybe side to side. Try to go to the side. I don't know what I like. I don't like a diagonal. I feel like eh, maybe I do. I don't know. I don't know. For the sake of the video, let's go with that. I'm gonna go with 90 because I just my eyes just can't wrap around that. Okay, there we go. But just knowing that that is an option, right? Just knowing that that is an option. Okay, and I'm gonna go maybe grab this mouse and I want this mouse to be the background over here. So I'm gonna stretch it and you're maybe seeing a little bit of an issue here as I throw it backwards and our first challenge to Canva. I'm gonna keep sending it backwards here. And you're seeing now, if I was to grab this mouse, shift it over just a little bit. Maybe you're doing some sort of like brand deal and you put your brand deal right there, right? Perfect. But you're now seeing that there, this is not clean down here, right? That's the first challenge to Canva is there is no erase tool. So you have to use, um, a combination of softwares, in my opinion, I like to use Canva maybe to design, but then I'm going to use GIMP to make this part of this panel transparent. OK, I did a video on how to make things transparent in GIMP. If you go to the content creators corner playlist, I will make sure that that is in the description so that you can find it. Um, I'm going to zoom in here to make sure that we're getting pretty detail oriented or not overlapping things that we need to or need to leave. And then let's uh, control C, control V. I'm gonna crank the crank this at 90 degrees. It should have been 90 of this other one, but my brain not thinking there and just trying to work quick. Sometimes quicker is not always just speed. Sometimes quicker comes with the strategy. Okay. For the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it at weight. Can I send this backwards and then just stretch it? Probably could, right? No, it wouldn't work that way. Okay, let's uh, control Z. Bring this back down to there. There, let's do something like that. OK, so there's our panel. We've created a panel using some of the the editing softwares. Now, what I would do personally is I would go into GIMP. If you go look for that video and then I would use the tool to select all that I wanted to cut out and I would cut it out. And now I have a perfectly clean panel right here. So there's first thing done. So now I don't have to have panels that are have no panels on Twitch. That literally took me a couple of minutes. Okay. 
Uh, next thing, Twitch, uh, Twitch offline. So on Twitch offline play page. And what this does, I really like to use uh, Blake's offline page as an example here. It says a lot without saying very much. Um, but look how clean this looks, right? When he's not hosting anybody or whatnot, you come to his channel and you're seeing quality here. It says a lot without saying much at all. And so I'm seeing a lot of quality here and you can say a bunch of different things, but let's go uh, get a template. We said we were gonna get a template with this, right? So Twitch, I can type Twitch offline. Poof. It's already going to have the correct dimensions. That's the beauty of Canva. Okay. And maybe I wanted to say some different things. So I'm going to change this to trigger. You change this to your name. Looks like that's all caps. I was wondering why that wasn't lowercase, but that's all caps font, which is OK. Stream will resume shortly. I don't want it to say that um, when I'm offline. I want them to be looking for a schedule if they are wondering where I'm at. There, see the schedule below on the panels. OK. Uh, maybe I want to add one more thing to this. <clears throat> I'm going to go uh, let's see. I would like to have a YouTube thing here because I want them to know if they're looking for me specifically and I'm not online that they can go check out some YouTube videos. I can do one of two things here. I'm just going to type in. I'm going to go to uh, elements. I'm going to type in YouTube. Wonderful. You do a couple of these things here. And yeah, we'll just use that. Why not? Okay. Make sure that we size it up right. I'm going to slide this Instagram thing over a little bit. I'm actually going to lead with green. I'll have the two opposite color or off colors in the middle. Feeling this vibe. Maybe something like that. Again, maybe not perfect, but hey, that is literally done in maybe two minutes and we're done with that, right? done i can download and we're moving on so we've got two parts done and now let's look at um let's look at the youtube intro work that you can do here so this is a little bit more complicated some of this stuff here i have went and got some audio that i i personally like already i'm gonna type in youtube and you'll see all of the again suggested designs that you can make uh, you can have a i like the look through the gaming videos they have all types of things here. And da, 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 da. I had one that I really liked and I can't find it. Our timer's ticking. Timer's ticking. Hmm. Where was it? Feels terrible. I already deleted it out of my thing. Let's type in YouTube intro. This one. That was a paid one, though. There was there was another one that was like that. That was free. Ah. Tripping type in game. Ah. Let's type in YouTube. Just YouTube as a whole. Ah. I want that exact one, bro. I'm gonna click this. I think that this is how I found the other one. Click this. And then I I'm just going to go into my recently used. I think that my recently used had it. Yeah, right there. All right, so we said we were going to have a intro and an outro. OK. So there's a bunch of different uh, types of intros that we can do. These are all pretty sweet. I'm looking for one that eh, let's just use this first one. OK. Move watermarks. Uh, Ah, so that's not a free one. Uh, OK. Let's go back here. Uh, 
All right, maybe we'll just do this one instead. So we'll just do this one as an intro and then we'll do a outro here as well, okay? Noticing that this one needs a little bit of color work because uh, it doesn't match quite our theme. And I'm gonna pause the music here and just kind of show you what it initially starts as. We're gonna change it around here a little bit. I don't know if it's about to blow your eardrums out, so mute the video really quick, go. Okay. So you're hearing, and this is what it would look like, right? It's a five second intro, intro and we can change that. But it doesn't look too bad. Okay, first things first here, I'm going to click on the video here and I want this to be maybe, uh, I don't know, a 10 second intro. Again, for the sake of uh, YouTube intros, keep them short, sweet. Maybe my up next says, uh, Canva designs, whoops, go back to the music here. Designs 101. Okay. Um, and then maybe I want this to say, uh, I don't know. All right, and maybe my website, whatever my website is. I don't have a website personally, maybe Discord or whatever. Wherever you're trying to direct traffic, then you could do that, okay? Now our brand colors, Remembering we're a little bit different. We are using that green color. So maybe I can just switch the yellows to this greenish color. So I'm going to click on this. And that's the beauty of having setting those brand colors early is you can really change things around quick. And it works for me if it works for you. Um, maybe I don't want that audio, right? Maybe I don't want this audio. So what I did was I had some uploads and I uploaded an audio that I liked. So I'm going to drop that in there. Sorry, that's really loud. There we go. Sorry, that's really loud. And then you're seeing how you it's going to. Uh, oh, my goodness, Canva. And then I can grab this and slide it around up here based on it looks like I'm sliding around a 10 second clip because that's how long the intro is here. OK. All right, so I have it right where the drop is on the song. That's what I wanted. I don't know if I can fade this. I wish I could fade this. But it's not looking like I can. Which is, it feels bad. Usually in videos, there will be, especially on like professionally edited videos, there will be like some sort of fade in which you could fade out the music and fade in another um, audio. But for the sake of Canva, it's not looking like it. But this is what it would turn into after, um, you know, a couple minutes of working on this. It's not too bad. It's completely generated by them. And I could probably find some different videos to put in the background here. I don't know what all we could find. If there are any others. But I don't know. Videos. Yeah, I guess we could here. So maybe I want uh, this type of intro instead. And I'm going to stretch this out and I'm going to send this backwards. There we go. It's working, right? Here's our intro. And this literally was done in two or so minutes. Again, this video right here looks like it's 22 seconds. So then you would have to go and click on the video here and make sure that you wanted it to be only a 10 second intro, right? 10 second intro and done. I could click download and I could download this as an MP4. And this would be something that I could drop in the beginning of my video, right? So there it is, 10 second intro. Uh, let's do an outro really quick. And so let's get an outro going here really quickly. Uh, we are making good time. We're making not bad time. I am still, I think, feel like a little bit behind on my goal, but we're not rushing things. That's that's the important part here is that we are not uh, rushing. OK, YouTube outro. Um, I did like this one from earlier. And let's look at our base and then let's change some things around again. I'm sorry if this really blares your audio. The Canva just thinks it's a good idea that the default setting is as loud as hell. That's their that's literally what they they um, when they program it, they put it in there as play 
loud as hell. So there's no audio. Cool. We'll add audio to it. Alrighty. Here we are. I'm going to go to audio. I'm going to drop in the audio. I'm going to uploads, drop in the audio that I wanted. Oh my. Sorry. Sorry. I tried. Try to be as quick as possible. OK, so now that we're starting with something like this, this is our template. Right. And then you would drag and drop your subscribe thing right there and you would drag your next video, whatever you're watching. Poof. I'm going to change some things around here really quick. We're going to we're going to brand this to be what we would like it to be. So we were working with that green color. So I'm going to start grabbing things and just making it that green color. Right. And that's why I said that brand early, just like we did earlier. Um, it looks like I made everything purple is going to be green. Right. So ooh, ooh. those of you looking at that, you're like, dude, that's hurting my eyes. I know. Trust me, it's hurting mine, too. I'm going to need to zoom in on that up there. You're seeing all of this was designed from all of the elements, right? And that's kind of what we were talking about is like, there is no like shapes like that. You have to actually go grab and, and edit elements to make it that that way. So I'm going to need a dark color for this green, for this font to sit on top of it is what I'm going to need. I can't even grab what I want to grab there, which is a feels bad. Trying to grab that little purple line and it's not letting me because the shapes of these boxes are overlapping. <laughs> OK, you understand where I'm going with this. OK, um, feels terrible. Let's continue on here. Everything purple. Except for, I guess, that little piece right there is not going to be green. That's going to drive me absolutely crazy, guys. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, um, yellow, we're maybe going to make something. It needs to be dark. Uh, maybe like this black or brown color. I'm going to go with this gray color here. And so all of the yellow now needs to be this grayish color. I don't know how well that's going to look on this background right here. But again, you could spend time just designing it, right? You could spend time looking around and seeing what color works and what color doesn't. It doesn't look like that works very well on that. But for the sake of of continuing on. I might make a switch right away. Let's see how this looks. Looks better. That's a little. A little better there. Yellow is going to be gray. Oops. Looked on something there. But I'm working from a template. The, the beauty of all of this is I'm working from a template, which is really, really, really nice. It's so short, sweet, and to the point. Let's get this to be a gray. It's easy. It's really not overly easy or overly difficult could make this bigger if I wanted to. I don't think I'm going to. Um, and besides that little purple guy there and this word plays right here. That's not too bad. I Maybe the color scheme could have been worked out a little bit better, but it eh, is what it is. Maybe I want to um, add a little bit more of that green so I could select these icons and make them green down here. Imagine the Twitter icon being lime green. And maybe I want to add that YouTube element in there. Right, maybe I wanted to add that YouTube element in there. Again, I can go to the recently used here. Or I can type in YouTube, see if there's anything that is not red and black instead. But I can change the color of it. Maybe this right here. Why not this? And then change the color to green. Work this down into there, probably create a little bit of space. Let's see how I want to do this. It's like that's all one. I'm just gonna have to smoosh this in there if I wanted to use it in there. It's not nearly as thick with it's like thick with two C's and I need this now to be thick with five C's.
Is there a way to make it thick with five C's? I'm not thinking so. Honestly, I think it's because it's so short. I can't really bold it. And it really... I don't know. It's not as lime greeny either. I think it's because it's not nearly as thick. Maybe I put this up here instead. Why not? Okay. And then maybe let's look at a, a couple of other things here really quickly. So this is what we have at the moment. And you're seeing a lot of animation, right? There's a lot of animation from all of these things coming up and moving around. And the purple that we could not get rid of it was terrible. I would cut it out and then re-add it in, but easy. So I'm going to animate here and I can maybe make the circle rise in. I can make the rectangle rise in as well. And it's showing me kind of like a what's going on with this. And maybe I make this little YouTube guy uh, tumble in. It'd be cool for him to just like come off to the side and then come in. Right. You're seeing some other things you could do with it if you wanted. If you have Camera Pro. Right. But and then I could do something with the page animations as well if I wanted to have everything on the page come in from the left if I wanted to. But it looks like all of the element animations for each thing were set up individually. And so I'm not going to add a page animation, but I could if I wanted. And did I? I think I messed with everything because I clicked that. Oh, well, so let's go add a page animation then. Let's go do that. Um, animate. And we're going to have everything. Maybe everything uh, rises in. Everything breathing in would be weird. Eh, that's kind of cool. As long as it doesn't disappear. Yeah, I like that. And then I want that specific. Uh, I can do it. Ooh. Oh, now we're getting fancy. Now we're getting fancy. I dig it. I dig it. You're seeing the power of Canva, right? And at 30 minutes in on this video, and I'm going to cut this video here in just a second, you're seeing the power of Canva. And so uh, here we are with a YouTube outro. So today we have created a panel. We have created a outro. Well, let's look at all the things that we created in the, the brand color. We've created an outro or an offline page panel and offline page. We have created a intro. Uh, why is it not lime green? Like we, oh, it is lime green. Like we said, an intro. Okay. Thank goodness. And an outro. All within literally like 30 minutes, right? So there is really no reason to spend a ton of time making something super in depth as a new creator when you can create something so simple. And so, I mean, it, this doesn't look bad. I'll be real with you. This doesn't look bad. This does not look bad at all. For a new creator, if I was a brand new creator, I would be using this. I would be. In fact, I might just go rebrand my channel using Canva because it's that easy. It's literally go find some templates. It's that easy. So I guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, man. I, I just wanted to kind of put out some information on Canva. Uh, There's another online software that I use. I, I use uh, GIMP. I use um, VSDC. These are both free softwares right here. And then I do use Adobe software as well. And again, like we talked about earlier, uh, if the program lends to the strengths that you need, then use the program. There is no shame in using GIMP and Photoshop at the same exact time. There's no shame in that.